Okay, write this down. Eli Huyel. E L I H U Yale. He was the founder of the British East India Trading Company. You know, the British who kind of took over India, colonized India. That wasn't very nice. Well, he had a very interesting profession. And I'm going to tell you about that. And how imbecilic, or say ignorant, the college students of Yale University really are in a moment. Thank you for joining. Hello everyone, a very short video about something that's going on in Yale University. It's really funny, uh, actually, but uh, no money. If you are a conservative student at Yale or trying to get into Yale, you will not have be getting any money or support. Only the Democrat progressive and LGBT. They're part of these groups. Otherwise, you will be getting no money. They really don't want you on their campus. And isn't it interesting? This because they look at the conservatives because they think that this lie has been propagated that a Republican, a conservative, is the party of slavery and KKK, and the party that would reject homosexuality. Which is funny because we know that Trump 40 years ago, when this whole gay movement, gay pride movement started for equality, he supported them. He's the only one, not the Democrats. That's really funny actually. And they hate him. They, they forget that he has this history of supporting all these people, all these diverse groups. But the funniest thing about Yale, you know how they, are tearing down statues and uh, it's supposed that Jeffrey, Lord Jeffrey Amherst gave the Native Americans blankets that had smallpox on them. But at that time, they didn't know about diseases. They had no idea. So that might not even be true. But because of that, there, there's an inn called the Lord Jeff in Amherst. And now they changed it to the Inn on the Commons because they, because of this supposed history that may or may not be true because scientifically nobody knew that a blanket, you could catch something that was contagious because it was in the possession of someone who had a contagious disease. They didn't know that back then. But the funny thing about Yale is is that now conservative students, Republican students, anybody that's not a progressive or a socialist or in the LGBT community. I suppose if you're in the LGBT community and you're a conservative, you don't get the money either. You know, so they'll happily discriminate there. Um, Yale, nobody is standing up and demanding that Yale's name be changed. You want to take down Jefferson and all the founding fathers and even the ones that were against slavery. You want to take them all down, right? Okay, and change all the names. Okay, Yale. Do you know who Yale was? Do you know what he did for a living? Of course, he was a Democrat. So you, there's a little hint. Uh, well, no, he wasn't a slave owner. But guess what he was? Now, this totally progressive, diverse university, doesn't want conservative students on their campus. Guess what he did? And they're keeping his name and anybody who is a conservative or not progressive socialist, we don't want you on our campus. The party of abolition, we don't want those people on our campus. Guess what Yale did? And they're proudly keeping his name 
all over the campus and all over their degrees and all of their books and their records. And this is how intelligent, this is how intelligent our college students are today. This is, this is, this is how far they dig. This is how deep they go. They don't go deep at all. They don't research anything at all. But they're being educated by this Ivy League college, one of the best in the entire world. Yale. He was a slave trader. He traded slaves. See, he was in the business of selling African slaves. Not slave owner. I guess because he wasn't a slave owner. I guess that's what gets him off the hook, huh? He was just a slave trader. And his name you're keeping. That's the college that you're keeping the name of. That's the name, you're changing the names of these people who it's kind of scientifically impossible to know about. If he did do that, and they knew that back then, shame, shame on him. He's awful. Yes, you should change the name. I agree with you. But there's no proof. There's really no evidence that he knew that. We don't have any. We do have hard evidence that Yale, the founder of Yale, was a slave trader. This is how ignorant our, we already knew they were ignorant. This is beyond ignorance. Okay, all right, it was just a short video. That's all I'm gonna say. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Oh. <laughs> Fight on.